So tonight we're going to be painting some blue glass study. As in all beginnings of any painting, it's all going to be initially about getting correct proportion. If we rush too fast to go to the painting stage without getting proportion first, then it doesn't matter how good your colours are, it's still not going to be as good a painting as it could be. Once you've got the height in, then Obviously, you then have the width, which gives you proportion. So you've got top mark, bottom mark, left and right, four marks, that's it. So if we say that is true, I can just put a guide down here. So now we need to establish where this point is and where that is. Now let's go for the bottom of the lid. When you are drawing something out, do be really mindful. Don't put a big thick mark in. Try and be as precise as you can. So where's this other bottle going? So just lifting out what I don't want. Yeah, you can begin to see it's kind of taking shape now. Let's just take that line. Okay, we've got a bit of constructing to do, so let's put a line across here. Okay, so let's look at now adding some dark. I don't want it to go thick. It's still a stain I want to use. I'm also putting some of the light and dark values in. What I want um, you to consider now as we do this, it's literally just what is light you put in as light, what is dark you put in as dark. For those of you who are new to uh, this type of painting, just try to relax into it. I would recommend if you're going to be doing this, and have a look at the video and then have a go. But don't have a go with one canvas, have a go with two. And if you bring one painting up and it looks really, really good, you're probably going to feel, well, oh, I don't want to mess it up. So if you have another painting on the go of the same study, you will feel less precious about it. Ease the pressure by doing more than one painting.